I'm Yuki Kujita from uh, Physical Mind Institute, and I'm holding Smart Seat. And I just wanted to show you uh, some use of Smart Seat. And we we have a lot of questions. Um, the people ask how to use it and what's so good about it. I'm sitting on Smart Seat today, and I like to share some exercise that you can do with Smart Seat. And I just have to um, share my experience with my clients with Smart Seat. And this is not just static seating things. Uh, in the beginning, very uncomfortable for most of people. And some of my clients did not like it in the first time. And I realized this is not the kind of things that you have someone sit for the first time and do the breathing exercise for 10 minutes. They're going to have bruises or they're going to feel, they're going to complain because they really actually need it. And they are not used to sitting on the edge like this. Most of us are not neutral. Most of us are not even. Evenly sitting down on the both sits one equally. So most of the people are leaning one side. Of course, you're going to feel uncomfortable on the other side. It's the hitting on the side. Because the fascia and all of this uh, skins are not used to hitting on something. So that's where you come to teach how to sit proper way with pelvic floor and all this little exercise. But make sure you keep them moving. You don't want to have them sit and hold it just doing breathing. It's not going to work. They're not going to like it the first time. But you're going to keep adding a little by little and introducing a little more exercise with pelvic floor exercise or abdominal exercise. And they're going to start liking it. They're going to start seeing the results because they're going to start not feeling much discomfort after you sit down many times and do some exercise. They're going to get used to it. So you just have to be patient and just give them credit, okay? All right, so first one I'd like to show you is, um, Joan already talked about most of us like to cross the legs for many reasons, but mostly for the laziness because you keep the legs together so the legs are not going to flap open on subway or on a TV show, talk show. So most of the people cross it. It's just the easy way. But what you're doing to your pelvis is actually you're hiking up one hip. So unless, unless you are crossing, alternating constantly five minutes, who does that? No one does that. So then your hip is start hiking up one side. And that will give all sorts of problems to your lower back, upper back, shoulder eventually. And we all know that. So um, to avoid seating like that, we have smart seat. And at first, it's just uh, you have to kind of discipline yourself. First time you use smart seat, five minutes, ten minutes, uncomfortable, and then move on to the next day. You do a little longer. So you just have to do it, um, be patient. So the first one I like to show you is the pelvic floor, uh, I'm sorry, pelvic, pelvic ball. So you're just going to the side to side, and you can just add in breathing, but I'm just going to side to side. I'm just dropping one side of the sit bone deeper towards the chair outside the smart seat edge and just going side to side. Not talk about too much medial hamstring, just to be free right now, I'm just sitting on the smart seat and just going side to side, just defining your side right and left, dropping off the smart seat. And then sort of find the middle, like you're sitting in a seesaw. And then, okay, I think this is maybe in the middle. Now I'm going to the front and back. So you're just arching your lumbar spine and you're going to tuck your tailbone and pelvic is moving forward and back. And you can just put your hands front and you are just hinging deeper and opening front and closing, opening front. Now you can do that with medial hamstring will be much more efficient. Eventually, I have to lift my heels to be efficient because I'm a little short for this chair. So in order for me to use medial hamstring to squeeze the smart seat, I kind of have to lift my heels up. But you don't necessarily have to do that if you are tall enough. So I'm just going back and forth by activating medial hamstring. And then I'm going to circle. And it's a lot harder if I'm using medial hamstring to keep smart seat in between my leg. 
and the reverse the circle. Now I'm going to release this, and you could just do that, releasing and just relaxing your feet and just moving and feeling your lumbers and the front moving, just circular motions, and don't worry about too much in the leg, and just enjoying the ride, and just massaging your whole thing, wherever touching your smart seat, and just go in a circle, and now let's bring it back to neutral. And then now I'm going to just squeeze. So this is the time to actually use medial hamstring, and then finding the side of the smart seat, I'm squeezing and bringing my legs to parallel. I have to lift heels a little bit. So now I'm just squeezing to lift the pelvic floor. And I'm just zipping everything up. And I would say 10 seconds for three times. So a total of 30 seconds of squeezing. But every 10 seconds, I'm going to just release it and relax. And then next 10 seconds, I'm going to roll it in and squeeze. And I'm feeling my shins a little shaky. And I'm lifting my sacrum and lifting pelvic floor as if my hips can fly off the chair. That's how much I'm trying to lift my pelvic floor. Actually, when I'm activating pelvic floor, I almost feel my butt cheek is off the chair and the leveling up with the smart seat. And that's how much you can lift the pelvic floor and release. And you do that three times. Okay, so now you activate medial hamstring and the pelvic floor is working. So now I'm going to just do the single leg. It's easy, just lifting one leg. But the other leg is keep squeezing the smart seat, opposite side, and down. And I'm going to the other side, and of course I'm squeezing both. And you can do it a couple times, just checking pelvic floor. I'm lifting, I'm lifting. Now let's go both feet, both feet off, and see if you can extend the legs. Maybe you can add point and flex, point, flex, but you turn out, turn in, turn out, turn in, point, flex, and you keep squeezing, lifting the pelvic floor, and bring it down. Okay, so now we are adding twist. Now the whole time, I'm still using my medial hamstring and pelvic floor lifted in order to get to the nice spine twist. And I'm pushing my hands together to the smart seat. Don't forget to breathe. And you're going to keep pressing. I'm using back of the seat to lift myself up. And opposition, this side, when I'm twisting this side, my right leg is really gathering and working hard to squeeze the smart seat. And come back. So now I'm going to activate tremors. Tremors abdominal, external, internal oblique, all of that. So let's see some abdominal exercise leaning back and just coming forward. Now again, you can flatten your feet on the floor if you're tall enough. I just have to lift my heels up because I'm too short. So now I'm leaning. Now I just noticed when I lean back, my medial wants to give up. No, 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 I'm going to just squeeze it out and lift my pelvic floor and clean back up. Now you can do this five times, ten times, hundred times, right? And then I'm going to add the twist. Now here it gets a little bit more com complicated because you have to really squeeze the opposite side. See my voice is a little shaky and I come back. Now I'm going to add single arm reaching and bring it in and back. Lean back and reach. It's a little like a Russian dance and come back up. Now this time I'm reaching and single leg up. Opposition and bring the whole things in. Other side. Hooray! And reach and come back. And reach and come back. Make sure you keep squeezing the smart seat. And here. So you can do this 100 times 
or just three times, or four times each. And at this point, I almost don't, I almost forgot that I'm sitting on the smart seat. I don't forget that I have to squeeze this stuff, but I almost don't feel, my hips are so used to it now that I don't really feel it's pretty comfortable. And now I'm going to squeeze the front of the smart seat to pick up my hip and pick up the smart seat. So you are hinging forward, flat back, no rounding, flat back. I'm lifting pelvic floor, squeezing medial hamstring, and I'm just coming up and coming down and squeeze and squat and come back down. So this was some easy exercise you can do, just the one of them, two of them, or all of them, every day, every other day, and you, believe me, believe me, it will get used to it. And right now it's so comfortable. And you can just give them a nice little circle and 